Two Mega Pops is an achievement in Balloons Tower Defense 6 when you need to get 2 million or more pops with a single tower. And in this video, we're going to be doing this with, with Cursive Cluster paired with Missile Launcher. Also, there's no Geraldo on the field. And we're going to start with Dart Doubles. Double Darts, I mean. Want the darts on the far end of the map so they don't intrude with our pots later on throughout the game. Although, are we going to get through these early rounds? We want Striker Jones down as soon as possible. For A, cover the rear, but also B, in order to buff our bomb tower, which we will eventually deploy down. Round 8 is looking very, very precarious. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to need to do some micromanaging with our targeting here so that we can actually get through this scenario. Oh, very close. And that should do it. Excellent. So it's down to putting the first Dark Monkey on strong so that it can pop the green balloons down to whatever layer that they need to be. But there's still the matter of this round. Oh, can we put them down? Not in time, though. Can we do it in time? Please pop all of them. <laughs> Ensure Striker Jones stays on the field. Thank you. So why Striker Jones over Geraldo? Different hero, able to indirectly buff bomb towers and mortars with additional attack speed. And I believe it's only the mortar where it gets an increase in blast radius. Yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. But we can't really put Striker Jones near the bomb shooter because of the fact that, well... He'll also be stealing pops. Okay, we're going to place our bomb tower. We're going to place it over here so they can reach all aspects. Well, not all aspects, but majority of the aspects. Beginning, middle, and going towards the end here. It's going to be very, very weak at the start. Like, starting with a bomb tower is just not advisable whatsoever. A very small explosive radius. Very slow, fast fire rate. Uh, so, very slow fire rate and is likely to miss very fast balloons. Frag bombs so that we can actually hit more than one target at a time. Keep a bomb shooter on strong so that we can target the strongest most balloons at any given point in time. And from there, we don't have to deal with multiple pink balloons at the very back of the map. Be back on strong? Yeah, I think that should do it. Missile launcher? Yeah, we'll have a faster fire rate for sure. And it flies faster as well, so hopefully it's more likely to hit those pesky yellow and pink balloons. Oh, this is getting a little bit skeptical here, but managed to get through it all right, lovely. Okay, so we could upgrade to cluster bombs, but I would rather if we were to have frag bombs initially so we can get through the black nice. layer first. Now that Striker Jones is at level 5, it means that we do have a chance with our explosives to hit it's the um the black balloons and zebras but we do have a small um camo problem which we will fix with a ninja at the back here we do want you as a balloon saber so it's multi-purpose there we go got through that single camo green balloon now we've got the rest of these rounds to go for and hopefully we'll not have as much turmoil as we did at the very start for a lot of scenarios particularly like in chimps the most difficult phase of the entire game can be the very start. Just get yourself started up and get the ball rolling. That can sometimes be the most difficult aspect. And then mid-game, I think mid-game is always the easiest part. So beginning and then also the late game, I think they're definitely the hardest aspects of the game. I do want recursive cluster. But I'm thinking of getting myself some villagers down here to A, buff this, but then also make glue gunner upgrades just a bit cheaper. Okay, let's now pop down a submersion support so that we can enable ourselves some decamification so our lovely bomb tower here can pop these balloons, which would otherwise be camo fired without it. this. It's getting quite close to February, which hopefully will mean some news from Ninja Kiwi about the prospects of update 41. And with the hopeful certainty that the submarine Paragon will make its way into the game. Yeah, we'll get radar scanner. We don't want to solely rely on decamer flying balloons in order to pop them. We'd rather have that certainty that we can actually pop them. So jungle drums will be coming up very soon. 
We do need recursive clusters at some point because that's obviously the challenge name. But can we get through this round? Yeah. Absolutely no issues whatsoever. There goes round 39. And now we've got ourselves the first mob of the day. Yeah, MOAB. We get it. We get it. Hopefully this should be able to deal with it. Oh, gosh. I think I should have gone with Cursive Cluster first with all these villages. How about twin guns on our submarine here? Not the wisest choice, but I'm definitely going to go through with it. Let's see. Uh, can we? Oh, thank goodness. That was a nightmare to get through. I thought this would be able to do it, but no. Here is Recursive Cluster. Now, every other time we shoot, we have even more cluster bomb detonations and destruction. So I mentioned in one of my previous videos that my voice sounds like generated AI text-to-speech. Like, I can understand where people come from at times because sometimes your voice does sound kind of monotone, but I'm not a big fan of that, to be honest, really. Like, when someone just comes out and says that your voice just sounds so automatonic that it kind of just makes me feel like I'm less human at times when that sort of stuff is said. Because it feels like the content creators detach from the work in which they're creating on. Because part of the work is then replaced by an automaton. Which I've mentioned multiple videos at times on the channel. That I'm a big proponent of people involved in works. Rather than automatons being the sole creator of said work. Take a look at Krebble Cop for example. We have the technology to have overclock on the field. We have no other tone than this because we are all AI at the end of the day. I sound so human. If I took the Turing test, I would pass with flying colors. Artillery command is only gonna be helpful for us when Striker Jones reaches level 20 because I didn't know this beforehand because I thought you needed an ability on cooldown from either your Moab Assassin or from your Artillery Battery in order to activate Artillery Command. But on level 20 you can activate it regardless if you have a bombed shooter or a mortar monkey on a board field or both. That's a, it doubles your damage output for 10 seconds. It's only for 10 seconds but by golly those 10 seconds will be twice the efficiency against the balloons you know what we're gonna go with an alchemist this time around with buffs i believe the missile launcher cross path is better than the bigger bombs cross path but without cross well without any buffs then it could be debatable as to which one is better but i definitely believe that the top path is better without buffs but with buffs the, uh, the missile launcher cross path really does shine because you're able to fire that many more out and each one is more powerful otherwise. Especially with like the Alchemist and Striker Jones. And if you have the money and a definite correct mode, then yeah, it's on Temple to buff it. But why would you want to spend all that money on a Sun Temple with support sacrifices? just to benefit a tier 4 primary tower. People, you could add commentary to give your videos a bit more variety. Also people, he took a degree in Yapology. There's no such thing as pleasing the entire community because everyone has different tastes and everyone has different skill sets and different knowledge on things. So this, for example, could be considered a very novice approach towards a 2 mega pop scenario but that's coming from a rather elitist standpoint to, to like, but from the 0.001% of the community that knows pretty much how to do everything. If they could, they would do a 000 glue gun or two mega pops without even thinking about it possibly. But it's like, there needs to be a healthy mix of people who are good at the game and people who are not so good at the game. Because if everyone is bad at the game, then obviously there is definitely a difficulty spike with the game itself in which nobody can reach that level, possibly aside from the developers of the game itself. But if everybody is good at the game, then obviously, or very good at particular challenges, so let's say a 2 megabot scenario, then it will feel like the game itself is just incredibly trivialized. And then everything is easy, regardless of how easy the map is, or the tower is, or how difficult it is. So I think, personally, that a healthy mix of both good players and not so good players is healthy for the entire community. 
it tells the elite players that they were once somewhere in which they were not now but they were beforehand and then when it comes to not so good players looking at good players it gives them inspiration in order to go for that particular goal of let's say wanting to get a dragon's breath to mega pops or a dragon's breath as one of your two towers the two towers chimps if it already is just one thing rather than a diversity of things then it just feels so stale and boring mib and call to arms are up and running we will get another glue gun at some point named glue strike i must be i've been thinking about like glue storm and i'm starting to think that sometimes a bit more of a hindrance than glue strike and obviously the additional 16,200 that you spend on it and the reason why i think it's going to be a bit more of a hindrance in two mega pass runs is because the double-edged sword of glue strike is an even bigger double-edged sword with glue storm obviously the plus two damage lasts for much longer but do you really need that um that kind of debuff on the tower or oh, so on the balloons at all times and do you want certain towers sorry to then pop them that is the question so that's the first loss to eric stone for round 78 let's use quarter arms now to deal with the second loss ceramic said we didn't need it for the first slot did we was that a mistake using that there but they can this us plenty of damage and pierce to deal with all these regrow rainbows if there was any other cross path probably like a size of a top cross path with the correct buffs then like definitely middle path these rainbow regrows would be a huge menace to try and deal with although people would say well actually if you pair it with frag bombs then that will solve all of your problems how dare you be so stupid at the game because i the nerd at this game know exactly what each and every single tower does and if you don't know every single thing then you are a complete lazy sod that doesn't know anything about this game and i'm the only one who knows everything about this game because it's so easy probably not in those exact words but i'm definitely paraphrasing certain people in the community that think that they are hot shots Combine both Blue Strike and Quarter Arms for that additional damage. Hope you can keep up at all times, Overclock. So let's see where Striker Jones is at. So the only thing we can really get now is an additional 10% attack speed and the double damage from level 20 artillery command. I'm amazed that Alchemist has not gotten a single pop yet. Like, there's been plenty of opportunities where it could steal pops, but obviously the uh the mowers which are big enough so that this thing can attack them obviously they've not yet reached here so bfbs perhaps those have not gotten here yet but very good with a zmg i'm sure it did like i know it's only been four rounds ago but i don't remember if the zmg made it this far i don't think it did but then again this could be the true test here well it looks like i made another mistake why did i overclock our primary mentoring village don't worry, it'll come back when we really need it next. Hopefully soon. Very soon. Like right about now. Reaching over towards near the start to target BFBs and ZMGs, that's just a huge advantage with this. Because it means you have that little bit more time with them being slowed down. And yeah, the Alchemist can reach for these ZMGs, well mainly their butt end. <laughs> it's always their butt end that gets targeted. If you're new to two mega pops and you're looking to do one with a bomb tower i would say bottom path bomb tower is definitely the one to go for it provides the most amount of coverage when it comes to different uh, types of towers which you're looking for really like the top path is too expensive to get the goddamn balloon crush that was incredibly painful to get a balloon crush to mega pops with not because of balloon crush but the price tag of balloon crush it's all about the journey at times not the destination but the journey so yeah ddt's quite a breeze really even if you didn't have mib soon we'll be at the point where we will essentially have an mib permanently on the bomb shooter considering the fact that well at level 19 all explosives now do 100 percent guaranteed damage to black and zebra balloons Top path ideal for stunning, middle path ideal for single targets, and bottom path ideal to deal with as many targets as possible 
like weaker targets in a big group that sort of thing a herd eliminator rather than a single target assassin or eliminator oh we definitely need call to arms we should also think about absolute zero i should have gone these in the reverse order actually get absolute zero first of balloon sabo because you realize that if you go with permafrost on the absolute zero it can also apply that permafrost effect to the Moa class balloons as well rather than just for little ones how are we going to deal with round 95 pretty well i'd say apply that call to arms then apply that glue strike in and those ddts are left in the dust that other one almost escaped sometimes when a balloon is glue struck it cannot be um moab glued which is honestly annoying really because both sets of glue should stack so what if actually you were trying to apply a top half glue gunner as your two megapots like tower and then you try to use glue storm as a means of trying to go through more layers but because of the fact that the glues don't always work well together that you're going to end up being in a run because of that now that would be very bad in all of itself because you can't stick the top path because the middle path keeps overriding every other path's function yeah we definitely need call to arms definitely need call to arms definitely need call to arms and now round 97 we didn't use all of call to arms to its fullest potential again i'm sorry didn't realize as well we were not using many balloon sabers which obviously would have been a help on some of these rounds thank you very much flair some people are literally the Chukari from warhammer 40k perfection is not the peak but the minimal requirements and if you're nowhere near or nowhere even at perfection then you are a failure of a specimen one who is below the dirt below creation itself on the bacterial level probably also paraphrased by somebody who thinks that they are hot stuff but they are just as annoying as of a next human being Actually, we're all annoying in our own ways, but we're all wonderful in our own ways, even if your intention is malicious, because we are all capable of good things, great things, but also nasty things as well. And that's no good. Can we get through the rest of our nice... Okay, this is sold on 5,000 pots, which is not ideal, but it's only really the only thing that is now largely stealing pots, but at the same time, I am not concerned whatsoever because we are nearly there at the end of the game with quite a bit of money left over actually like i'm not too sure what we could spend the rest of our money on i'm thinking of oh shabo no thank you so maximum level striker jones is beautiful so once all of the dts are out now we're gonna glue storm let's go glue strike sorry and hopefully all of those will be dealt with I was a bit worried about that last ET there. So what can we do for the rest of our money? I'm thinking of a wonderful spike storm. But also a wonderful if we can find you. Can we afford that? Can we afford a first strike capability? That is my question. Yes, just enough money. Just enough of that moolah. Thank you very much. It's definitely a big huge one so let's just do that then call to arms then spike storm and then first strike and hopefully that will be enough damage or excess damage needed in order to get through the scenario i believe in the power of our beloved recursive cluster here oh i forgot to use it actually and now we are there oh stop attacking that oh, i forgot about the fact that <laughs> Uh, the submersion support is kind of decamifying the DTs there, which is not good. Can we? Can we? Yeah, we're there. It's just a matter of surviving now. So we're going to use artillery command once, which is a bit stupid of me, but we made it to the end lane, end of the line there. That's actually, honestly, easier than some tier 5 towers, recursive cluster. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been the recursive cluster two mega pops on Frozen Over. There are definitely things I could have improved with this run. Like obviously with the beginning, with the targeting priority, with our little dark monkeys at the very back here. 
Offers it at the very back so it doesn't interfere with anything at the very front. The formation of this map makes it so that stuff obviously goes in and out multiple times throughout a particular part of the track. Striker drones obviously for increased attack speed and early on in the game enables our explosives to be able to have a chance of popping black balloons. And obviously we sabers are slowing down, absolute zero for slowing down, spike storm against the bad. And first strike capability, because we haven't summoned one of these in a while. And we had the money to do so. So thank you all so much for watching. This has been Two Maker Pops with Cursive Cluster. If you'd like to see me do another tower in the future, then please let me know by entering it down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been trying to do a Moab Press Two Maker Pops, but like with Moab Domination, Round 79 is just the worst time ever. Round 79 is pain. Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody.